hi here we have consider a right circular cone of base radius 4 so let's say this is a right circular cone uh, and uh, the radius is 4 right the cone is something like this but I'm drawing it in 2d now there has to be a cylinder which has to be placed inside this cone right now cylinder can be either like this this is the height and this is the radius of the cylinder or cylinder can be a tall cylinder but a smaller radius right so what will it be such that the total surface area of the cylinder is maximized so let's take this is the cylinder okay and uh, we have this is the altitude of both cylinder as well as the cone now assuming that the radius of the cylinder is r fine let me name few points a this point is b this point is c this point is d and this point is e if you look at triangles a b c and triangle uh, a d e both of these triangles will be similar triangles why because this angle is 90 degree in both these triangles and this angle is common angle sorry uh, this uh, this angle will be equal to this angle because of uh, this line being parallel to this line or you can say these two angles are 90 90 and this is the common angle between these two triangles hence these two triangles are similar triangles now if they are similar triangles we can say that a b upon a d is going to be equal to BC upon DE. AB upon AD is going to be equal to BC upon DE. Right? So AB we don't know. AD is length or the height of the cylinder which is 10 is equal to BC which is radius of the cylinder R upon DE which is radius of the cone. So from here we get that AB is equal to 10 into r by 2 which is 5 r by 2 this is the length of a b now if a b is uh, 5 r by 2 what will be the length of b d b d is going to be 10 minus this 5 r by 2 which is 20 minus 5 r this is going to be the length of the a cylinder BD uh, sorry there should be a by 2 here now let's try to look at the total surface area of the cylinder we know total surface area of the cylinder is area of the basis so twice of pi into r square plus the curved surface area right the curved surface area is uh, 2 pi r into height of the cylinder which is 20 minus 5 r by 2 20 minus 5 into r by 2 here right so now we have 2 pi r common if we take 2 pi r common we have r remaining here plus we have uh, 20 minus 5 r by 2 so now taking lcm we have 2 pi r is equal to 2 into r plus 20 minus 3r by 2 so this gives us 2 2 gets cancelled out pi into r into uh, 2r sorry this is minus 5 right so 20 2r minus 5r is minus 3r so pi into r into 20 minus 3r or uh, this can be also let me erase this this can be written as uh, 20 into pi r minus 3 pi r square or minus 3 pi r square plus 20 into pi r this is the total surface area of the cylinder now this total surface area of the cylinder is basically a quadratic in r right now since this is a quadratic in r and the coefficient of r square is negative that means this quadratic if you uh, plot it it will look something like this right it will be a downward facing parabola because of the negative coefficient of r square 
so the maximum value of this kind of a parabola is at minus b by 2a if you have a quadratic uh, function ax square plus bx plus c this is maximum when x is equal to minus b by 2a right so this will be maximum when r is equal to minus b b is the coefficient coefficient of r which is 20 pi upon twice of a a here is minus 3 pi okay so pi pi gets cancelled out minus minus gets cancelled out 20 upon 6 which is 10 by 3 so when r is equal to 10 by 3 this is when uh, the total surface area will be maximized right so the question was find the largest possible surface area so this is the largest possible surface area will be substitute r equals to 10 by 3 so minus 3 pi into r square which is 100 by 9 plus 20 pi into r which is 10 by 3 okay so we have 3 this gets cancelled out so minus 100 pi by 3 minus 100 pi by 3 plus from here we have 200 pi by 3 so minus 100 pi plus 200 pi is plus 100 pi by 3 so the maximum surface area is 100 pi by 3 option a here is the right answer thank you